We're going to talk about PDFs today. It's probably the number one document we have the problems with with IT documents. You've probably experienced it. You've been on the intranet. You've tried to fill out an OFD form and you send it and it ends up blank on the other side. There's a specific reason for that. I'm going to show you how to fix it. We're in the new wellness site. We're going to go ahead and um, open up a new OFD6. We're going to fill a new form out. As we scroll down, we're going to download a form. As we download the form, this is what you're going to see down here in the bottom left. You've probably seen that before and you've clicked on it. And when you click on it, this is the problem. What you've just clicked on is a preview of the form. You can see you're actually still in Chrome, the web browser that we use for our Gmail. You can fill this form out, meaning it'll let you type in information, but it won't save it. It's a preview in Chrome. You've also thought, well, I'll come up here and I'll download this. And I'm going to download it to the desktop where I know where it's at. And it comes back here again at the bottom. All right, now I've saved it. I'm good, right? Open it back up. You're right back in a Chrome. That's the problem. The PDF files have to open in Adobe Acrobat Reader. And there's a simple way to make them do that. I'm going to show you how it's supposed to work on the wellness site, and then I'll show you how to fix it. So this is my browser on my computer. And I'll download here, same thing, fill a new file, and I'm going to click the download here. When I click this button, guess what? Chrome doesn't show up. Adobe Acrobat Reader up top, this shows up. This is how it's supposed to look. From here, I can say File, Save As, and just like the other videos, you can navigate to your U drive. Everybody will have a U drive, and you'll have this accident form, and then you can save it whichever folder you want. Um, that's that's the correct procedure. Once you once you save this, unless you save it for here, you can now type this and fill this out and do all this and do all this, and then you can save it. And now it's on your U drive. You can save it. And when you actually go back to here and you want to upload it, you can now come here to your U drive. And we cover this in the other video, right? Uh, on how to navigate back to your U drive, right here, and here, and then where we put it there. Now it's there. That's filled out. There's actually something in that one because we saved it in Adobe and not Chrome. All right, so that's the problem. How do we fix it? There's one way to fix it, and it's like this. When you click on this download here, and this shows up down there, just don't click anywhere in here. Click on this arrow. You click on that arrow, always open in Adobe Reader. And now that file is going to open Adobe Reader when we click on it. It opens up Adobe Reader. And there you go, you're no longer in Chrome. Again, you can type in this, and you can file, save as, and go through the whole routine of saving that, and it's going to be there. That's the fix. We're also working with .com to apply these group policies to the computer so you don't have to mess with this at all. Hopefully they're successful in doing that. One last thing is with the intranet. Now that you, you learned how to handle these PDF files, if you go to TSD and I happen to know the OFD 11 is a PDF file, you click on that and guess what? You're seeing this Chrome stuff happen. Now you know what you need to do. You just need to download it. See when it's to download it? It's Adobe and just save it on your desktop or wherever you like to save your, your files. When you save that, the computer knows you need it in Adobe. So when you're filling out intranet forms, you have to do the same thing. You have to make sure that you are an Adobe Acrobat Reader. Let's close this out. You never want to be in Chrome. If you're in Chrome with the PDF file, it's not going to work. And there are other times when you actually have a file saved that you want to open. And I'll show you this tip on how to do that. Let's let's use the start menu here and we're, we're just going to go to the download folder to my computer and then click on downloads. When you click download something, this is where it actually goes. As you can see here, this is one of the workability reports we we looked at. Sometimes you'll see a Chrome icon here instead of that. If you right click here and say open in Adobe Acrobat Reader and you can do that on any file that is a PDF file, it's going to open that file in Adobe Reader again. So that's another workaround. If, if you're not seeing that download stuff for those choices in Chrome, you can always as a last resort. I know a lot of people aren't comfortable with that. If you get on the file you can right click it and say open in Adobe and it's going to open in Adobe. Um, that's it. Hopefully these tips will help you.